welcome i welcome you all to this lecture in the course samasa in paninian grammar and this is the first course on samasa as is our practice we begin the lecture with the recitation of the mangala charana vishvesham sachidanandam वंदेहम योखिल जगत चरीकर्ति वरी भरति संजरी हर्ति लीलया विश्वेशम सच्चिदानंदम वंदेहम योखिल जगत चरीकर्ति वरी भरति संजरी हर्ति लीलया in this course we have concentrated on the tatpurusha samasa there are several features of the tatpurusha samasa which we have highlighted again and again and again we have also demonstrated the derivation process of the tatpurusha samasa we said that it is important to look back at what we have already said so far we said that tatpurusha samasa has got many varieties and we have studied them all we started with vibhakti tatpurusha in which dvitiya tritiya chaturthi panchami saptami and shashti in that order we studied the vibhakti tatpurushas then we studied the karma dharaya followed by the ekadeshi samasa and nay tatpurusha samasa followed by gati tatpurusha samasa and then upapada tatpurusha samasa after that we studied in brief the samasanta pratyayas and also in brief the process of accentuation as far as the tatpurusha samasa is concerned now in this final lecture of the course let us look at some examples of samasa and let us see how the vigraha is done let us take examples from the celebrated text shrimad bhagavad gita so the very first verse that we come across is dharmakshetre kurukshetre समवेता युयुत्सव माम का पांडवाश्च किम कुरत संजय नाउ इमीडिएटली विद नोट दैट धर्म क्षेत्र इज अ सामस कुरुक्षेत्र इज ऑल्सो अ सामस एंड समवेता इज ऑल्सो अनदर सामस धर्म क्षेत्र इज डिजॉल्व एज धर्म से क्षेत्र कुरुक्षेत्र इज डिजॉल्व एज कुरूण क्षेत्र both these samasas they are shashti tatpurusha samasas and the sutra prescribing this shashti tatpurusha samasa is shashti 228 samaveta means ekatra gatavantah this is a gati tatpurusha samasa stated by the sutra kugati pradayah similarly if we read this following verse eva muktva rishi kesho guda keshe na bharat senayor bhayor madhye sthapayitva rathottamam we note that rishi kesha guda kesha and rathottam these are the three samasas the word rishi kesha is dissolved as rishi kanam ishaha and rishi ka is the indriya indriyanam ishaha the master of indriyas the sense organs which means one who has control over the sense organs that is rishi kesha 
Similarly, Gudakeshav is dissolved as Gudakayaha Ishaha. Gudaka refers to sleep, one who is the master of sleep, one who is in control of one's sleep is called Gudakesha. Both these samasas, they are dissolved in the fashion of a Shashti Tatpurusha in accordance with the Sutra Shashti 2.2.8. Rathottamaha is dissolved as Rathanam Uttamaha, also a Shashti Tatpurusha, also stated by the Sutra Shashti 2.2.8. Now here are some more examples of Shashti Tatpurusha Samasa and these are the words which are very commonly used in Sanskrit and not just in Sanskrit but in many many modern Indian languages. In fact these are the very common proper names of individuals and let us throw a quick glance at them and some more such examples which will give us the importance of the phenomenon of Samasa and the study of it. Sureshaha. The word Suresha is a Samasa and the Vigraha is Suranam Ishaha, the master of gods. Dineshaha is the master of day, the sun. Rameshaha the master of Rama, Vishnu, Rajeshaha, Radnyam Ishaha, the master of kings, Rakeshaha, Rakayaha Ishaha, Girishaha, Girinam Ishaha. And you can form n number of such words which are also not listed on the slide, namely Umeshaha, Jayeshaha, Mayureshaha, Guneshaha, Ganeshaha, etc., etc., in the same fashion, and that will be the Shashti Tatpurusha Samasa. And this is why this kind of Samasa is considered to be very, very productive. Similarly, the other type of example of Shashti Tatpurusha Samasa is stated on this particular slide. Mahipatihi the lord of the earth, Mahi Patihi. And the dissolution is Mahihaha Patihi. Now similarly, you can form different compound words, Prithivi Patihi, Bhu Patihi, Kshma Patihi, Kshiti Patihi, Vasundhara Patihi, all meaning the master of earth. This is also a very productive process. And these are all the Shashti Tatpurusha Samasas. Now here are the examples of Nay Tatpurusha Samasa. Achedyoyam Adayihoyam Akledyo Shoshya Evacha. This is the first verse example, and here we have the first word Achedyaha. This is Nay Tatpurusha, and the Vigraha is Na Chedyaha. Adayihaha Na Dayihaha. Akledyaha and the Vigraha is Na Kledyaha. Ashoshyaha and the Vigraha is Na Shoshyaha. Similarly, Avyaktoyam Achintyoyam Avikaryoyam Achate. And here you have Avyaktaha as Naitat Purusha whose Vigraha is Na Vyaktaha. Achintyaha as Naitat Purusha whose Vigraha is Na Chintyaha. Avikaryaha as another case of Naitat Purusha whose Vigraha is Na Vikaryaha. And you will find several such examples not just in Bhagavad Gita but also elsewhere in the Sanskrit literature, not just in Sanskrit but also in modern Indian languages. Here are some more examples from Srimad Bhagavad Gita. Abhayam and the word Abhaya is a compound, a Nay Tatpurusha compound, and the Vigraha is Na Bhayam. Ahimsa, and the Vigraha is Na Himsa. Similarly, Advesta, and the Vigraha is Na Dveshta. These are all the Nay Tatpurusha Samasas. Similarly, Amanitvam, 
and the vigraha is na manitvam, adambhitvam, and the vigraha is na dambhitvam. Similarly, aratihi is the naitat purusha samasa, and the vigraha is na ratihi. Now let us turn our attention to Upapada Tatpurusha Samasas. And Upapada Tatpurusha Samasa is also very much productive. And here are some examples from the Srimad Bhagavad Gita. So Yogasthaha. Yogasthaha means Yoga Tishthati. Yoga Tishthati is the Laukika Vigraha. Yogastha is the finally derived compound output. And since Upapada Tatpurusha Samasa is a Nitya Samasa of a Svapada Vigraha kind, we do find that difference as far as the compound output is concerned and the Laukika Vigraha is concerned. So Yogasthaha, its Vigraha is Yogetishthati. Sattvasthaha and its Vigraha is Sattve Tishthati. Samadhisthaha and the vigraha is samadhau tishthati. Buddhisthaha and the vigraha is buddhau tishthati. Swasthaha, swasmin tishthati. Prakritisthaha is prakritau tishthati. These are the examples of Upapada Tatpurusha Samasa in the Srimad Bhagavad Gita. Here are some more. Grahastha, this is very, very popular. Grahastha and Grahetishthati is the Vigraha. Asanastha and Asane Tishthati is the Vigraha. Karmastha, Karmani Tishthati. Kartrustha, Kartari Tishthati is the Vigraha. Similarly, Gramastha is Grame Tishthati and Nagarastha is Nagare Tishthati. These are the Upapada Tatpurusha compounds with the verbal roots Tha playing a major role in the derivation of this particular Samasa. And the Sutra that works here is Supisthaha prescribing the suffix K because of which the final A of Stha gets deleted. Here are some more examples of Upapada Tatpurusha Samasa, this time with the verbal root Jana being added with the suffix da at the end. So we know the word Karma Jaha, Siddhir Bhavati Karma Ja, Karma Ja, Karmanaha Jataha, Buddhija, Buddhehe Jataha. So Jana is the verbal root and the suffix da is added to it as the, as part of the derivation of the Upapada Tatpurusha Samasa. Similarly, Mohaja is derived from Mohajjataha, the Laukika Vigraha. Papaja is the Samasa and Papajjataha is the Laukika Vigraha. Similarly, Sattvaja is the finally derived compound output. Sattvajjataha is the Laukika Vigraha from which it is derived by adding the suffix da to the verbal root jana. Similarly, Yogaja is the finally derived compound output and Yogajjataha is the Laukika Vigraha. Here are some examples of the Karmadharaya Samasa in the Srimad Bhagavad Gita. Maheshvasaha Mahancha Ashau Asau Ishvasaha. This is what is Maheshvasaha. The great archer. Ishvasaha is archer. Mahatma, Mahancha Asau Atma, the great soul. Paramatma, Paramascha Asau Atma, the supreme soul, supreme being. Sarvadvaram. Sarvam Dwaram. These are the examples of Karmadharaya. Karmadharaya also is very well productive as a process in Sanskrit and also in modern Indian languages. 
हियर आर सम एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ तृतीया तत्पुरुष समास फ्रॉम श्रीमद भगवद गीता अनेक चित्त विभ्रांत अनेक चित्त ही विभ्रांत वन हु इज दिसल्यूजन बिकॉज ऑफ द मेनी माइंड्स मल्टीपल माइंड्स मोहजाल सामवृत मोहजाल ही सामवृत दीज आर द समस विच आर फॉर्म बाय द सूत्र तृतीया तत्कृतार्थेन गुण वचन इन ऑनवर्ड्स एंड कर्तृकणे कृता बहुलम टू बी वेरी प्रिसाइज सो अनेक चित्त मोहजाल एट्सेट्रा धन मान मद दीज आर एक्टिंग एज करण ऑफ द एक्शन्स डिनोटेड बाय द वर्बल रूट्स इन विभ्रांत समावृत एंड अन्वित आत्मसंभावित इज आत्मना संभावित आत्मन इज रिलेटेड विद द एक्शन ऑफ संभावन एज करता एंड धन मान मदान्वित फॉर होम लौकिक विग्रह इज धन मान मद ही अन्वित ऑल्सो विधि हीनम एंड द तृतीया तत्पुरुष समास इज फॉर्म्ड एंड द लौकिक विग्रह इज विधिना हीनम मंत्रहीनम मंत्रेण हीनम श्रद्धा विरहित एंड द विग्रह इज श्रद्धया विरहित संगरहित ऑल्सो द विग्रह इज संगेन रहित now towards the end of the course after having studied all these examples let us study an interesting process but before going further let me comment by saying that there are multiple examples of the samasas available even in modern indian languages and also in sanskrit now let us study the very interesting feature of samasa inside a samasa garbha samasa so garbha stands for the belly in the belly so we say x garbha y x garbha y means x is a samasa inside y x garbha y and y is also a samasa and in sanskrit we also see that xy garbh z xy is a samasa inside z z is also a samasa and this can go on and on and on so you can have one samasa inside another samasa and that another samasa can be inside another big samasa and so on this process can go on and on and on depending on the semantics that the speaker wants to utilize so here are a few examples first we have dasharathasya putraha this is the shashti tatpurusha samasa and so we get the compound output dasharatha putraha now this dasharatha putra becomes part of another big compound namely dasharatha putrasya hastaha and then the compound is dasharatha putra hastaha this is also shashti tatpurusha so we have shashti tatpurusha garbha shashti tatpurusha then this becomes part of another big samasa whose vigraha is dasharatha putra hastasya alankaraha and the samasa output is dasharatha putra hasta alankaraha this is अषष्ठि गर्भ षष्ठि गर्भ षष्ठि तत्पुरुष देन वी हैव एन उपपद तत्पुरुष दशरथ पुत्र हस्तालंकारे तिष्ठति एंड बाय द प्रोसेस ऑफ कंपाउंडिंग वी गेट दशरथ पुत्र हस्तालंकारस्थ एज द फाइनली डिराइव कंपाउंड आउटपुट नाउ दिस इज एन उपपद तत्पुरुष समास विद षष्ठि गर्भ with a shashti garbh with another shashti garbh samasa 
then this upapada tatpurusha also becomes garbha to another shashti tatpurusha samas whose laukika vigraha is dasharatha putra hastalankarasthasya katha and the finally derived compound output is dasharatha putra hastalankarastha katha now this is a shashti tatpurusha samas with upapada tatpurusha garbha with shashti garbha with shashti garbha and with shashti garbha samas now this upapada now this shashti tatpurusha again can become a garbha of another upapada tatpurusha samas whose laukika vigraha is dasharatha putra hastalankarastha katham karoti and the samas would be dasharatha putra hastalankarastha katha karaha and this process can go on and on and on in fact there are some texts in sanskrit literature which are very famous for this particular style of chain samasas so the garbhas the garbha samasas can be shown with the help of the bracketing scheme in this particular manner so dasharatha putra hastalankarastha kathakaraha has got these many constituents and they are shashti garbha shashti garbha shashti garbha shashti garbha upapada garbha shashti garbha upapada samasas example now oh, this is a very important process and as we said that this is this has been adopted as a style by some authors in sanskrit literature towards the end we would like to point towards forming an algorithm to formulate the samasa so the input semantic relation is the samarthatva or samarthya where two or more interrelated words from a sentence get the make the input and then the process of compound formation happens from laukika vigraha onwards up to alaukika vigraha and subluk and the samasanta pratyaya and the purva pada karya and also the uttara pada karya and then we get the finally derived compound output word which is a pratipadika a nominal root the output word behavior as an input of a sentence and there are three features of this output word namely aikarthya aikapadya and aikasvarya to summarize compounding is a very productive process in sanskrit it is very important as far as the word formation is concerned there is a phenomenon of nesting visible in this particular process as there are compounds in the belly of other compounds used by speakers of sanskrit speakers or users of sanskrit used this particular process effectively to communicate speakers or users of sanskrit sh- should also learn meticulously to effectively use this process for the purpose of effective communication even here after finally i would like to conclude this course by reciting this mangala charana composed by yours truly in which the well is wished of everybody and that is samasas sangraho buddhair ekadhi vishayatva bhak vitanotu sada adhyetru buddhaikyam mangala pradam i repeat samasas sangraho buddhair ekadhi vishayatva bhak vitanotu sada adhyetru buddhaikyam mangala pradam these are the texts referred to ashtadhyayi of panini samarthanika from the vyakarana mahabhashya of the great patanjali vakyapadiya 
ऑफ भरतृहरि काशिका वृत्ति ऑफ जयादित्य एंड वामन समास प्रकरण फ्रॉम द वैयाकरण सिद्धांत कौमुदी ऑफ द ग्रेट भट्टोजी दीक्षित बिफोर क्लोजिंग आई वुड लाइक टू प्लेस माय ग्रैटिट्यूड टू आई आई टी बॉम्बे एज वेल एज टू द टीम ऑफ एन पी टी एल फॉर कॉपरेटिंग एट वेरियस स्टेजेस विदाउट हुज कॉपरेशन द कंप्लीशन ऑफ दिस कोर्स वुडेंट हैव बीन पॉसिबल आई थैंक ऑल द टीम मेंबर्स देवेंद्र रवि भारती मैडम एवरीबडी हु हेल्प me complete this course and also my ta dr iravati kulkarni i thank her profusely for the help she has been to me in completion of this particular course and thanks to you all for your feedback and comments thank you very much